What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with our second video from this English league attackers. Let me just switch my position up here because we need to get comfy and get into these cards, right? So we already covered Cantona, York and Keane. Mm, I'm a little bit torn on them lads to be honest, which I think it's... Look, I think it's a weak enough selection based on if you have got good, other good players, but check out my full review on that if you want. We will be focusing now on the players that make up the rest of this attacker's so, uh, pack, right? So you've got Gakpo, Neto, Diaby, Joe Pedro, and so on and so on, Jollington, Solomon, so on and so on, right? Now, I will say that there's only probably one or two players in this that I would recommend. Yes, you can actually get some good cards with these packs, and if you are spinning for Canton and you happen to clear a couple of these and you get Neto, you get Gakpo, you get the Abbey, happy days, man. But there's a lot of these cards as well that I just feel in the last week or two, right? I don't know about you guys, but let me know in the comments below. This is an important question, right? I just feel like that they've weakened the players, man. I feel like they're trying to re-round up the players and rebalance the players. I'm going to show you what I mean about that because I haven't seen really that many people discuss it, right? So we're going to start with Madueke. This guy is a prolific winger for Chelsea, and he is going to be down as a speedster, right? So that's pretty much what he does. Inconsistent form straight away, that's a big no-no, because obviously you don't mind the rating being on C or D sometimes because of the weekly update, but inconsistent form, even though you're not going to have players down form arrow that often, um, even though they've kind of like changed that back around, they do have a lot of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they do have a lot of issues. As my throat is a bit sore as well this morning, so apologies. Now, this guy would have been a beastly player if he did have flip-flap, but he doesn't. He has double touch and soul control, but he doesn't have flip-flap, so he doesn't have the ball roll. Um, this is just a cheeky little build that we did of him here. It's okay. He's an okay card, right? Now, I'm going to show you, right? This card is actually a little bit better than uh, other wingers because he's got fairly okay tight possession and balance um, with maxed out acceleration, ball control, dribbling. He can't pass. He can't shoot. You're not going to be using him for that. He's mostly going to be bringing on... Uh, bringing him on to stretch the, stretch the pitch, right? Now, we will take a look at Solomon, right? This guy is quite beastly, right? So not only does he have a nice card, um, and not only can he play left or right uh, wings, I like that. He's got 34 levels, and he's also got double touch, soul control. He doesn't have flip-flap. You could give him that if you really want to, if you have it lying around as a player skill. He's got long-range curler. He's also got heel trick, true passing, and super sub. It's a very, very nice card. His AI playing styles are brilliant as well. This guy is a demon to defend against against the AI for Spurs when you're playing on my league or whatever. He's a very, very decent player, right? And this guy is actually a bit better than his stats suggest because of these, right? So look at his type possession is 90, balance is 96, and his acceleration is maxed out. So what a lot of the cards have now is they'll have one of type possession or balance. So the cards that have type possession and balance over the 90 zone, they're the cards that you want if you are looking for ball carrying wingers, right? If you're playing a lot of one touch passing, you kind of bypass a lot of the possession based stats, type possession, balance. Uh, ball control, dribbling, um, even acceleration to a certain degree, because once you touch and go, the player just kind of moves with speed instead of acceleration, right? So I do feel like this is one of the picks of the pack. Um, we also have Jolington here as well. He's down as a pretty decent card, uh, finishing at 78, of course. He's going to have all his ball control, dribbling type possession around the 90 mark. Low pass is going to be 90. If you don't want the, the, the passing that high, I personally think that that's too high because of the way the passing is at the moment. You can actually kind of like make this card a little bit better with the balance, but there's what I'm talking about. Tie position, it is 86, um, but balance is only 74, which isn't good enough at this stage for the cards that you're going to be looking at. Jao Pedro is the same, right? 85 tie possession, 74 balance. So they've seemed to kind of switch up the balance and tie possession now. And uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail of that with the live stream. There's just builds as you can pause the video anytime and just get the builds here. Um, we're not going to focus on every single player here um, because I don't think that there's a point really. You know what I mean? Like the likes of Joe Pedro, he's got some fairly decent player skills for a first time shock type striker, long range shooting, acrobatic finish, double touch, chip shot and rising shot, pretty decent. But at this stage in the game, boys, I mean, even if you're a newcomer, you're going to be getting free Neymar within five, six days. You're going to have a free spin at some other players. I just, I don't see the point for a lot of these cards, right? The same with Lewin here. Just your traditional gold poacher. Yeah, he's got good jump, acceleration, and speed for a big man. But you're not going to have him in ahead of somebody that's going to just bag you in goals. You know, even some of the free cards that you can get on the GP marketplace 
or on the eFootball point store, right? We'll take a look at Neto as well, just briefly. He's got pace and speed. Again, you can see the tight possession, so it's reversed on him. So his balance is 81, but his tight possession is 74, even though his acceleration and speed are really, really high. So just keep an eye on that. He does have sole control and flip-flap, but he doesn't have double touch. Do you see what I mean? They're all balanced, man. All these cards are now a little bit more talk on into them instead of making like superhuman freaks of players, right? Now, the two players that I would be interested in getting are Diaby and Gakpo. Diaby is a beast, lads, right? Again, he has that same issue with the tight possession at 71. Balance is 15 points above that from the rip. Standard form, C rating. Villar doing unreal at the moment. Double touch, soul control. He doesn't have flip-flap, so you could have to give him that if you want the ball roll. But the rest of his stats and skills are really, really nice. And I loved my old Diaby card, so I think I'd love this one as well. That's the build that we've gone for 10-13, 10-4 with nothing into shooting or aerial strength. And that's going to get you a tight possession at 84, but balance at 96, max out acceleration, max out dribbling, phenomenal card, especially if you can bring him on as a super sub, give him super sub and a flip flap. Um, if you wanted to go that route with him, he would be an absolute demon. Uh, and also, if you wanted to give him one touch pass, of course, that will always one touch pass to any players, man, except the goalkeeper is going to make a huge difference. And then last but not least, we have Gakpo. I mean, you know, it said, you know, it said we didn't lose yesterday, lads. It was a good result for United. They're struggling. They're in disarray. We did get the win, or we did get the point on the board that we needed. So um, we'll talk about that later as well. But double touch, soul control, doesn't have flip flap. Again, as I said, they're trying to balance these cards out a little bit more. And look at his balance. This is the killer on this card, man. Everything else is phenomenal on this card, uh, especially the unwavering form, the ability of him up front or left wing that you can play sub tactics with him. Uh, it's a phenomenal looking card, right? But I do feel like that balance, again, is just not good enough for me. Tight possession maxes out at 91 with the manager boost, but the balance is only going to be 77. Acceleration is going to be 90. Speed is going to be 89 with kicking power 89. Stamina is going to be 87. Ball control, dribbling, and tight possession all into the 90s. Finishing at 85, giving it a plus 2 is going to be 87. I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't see the point um, in balancing these cards. I think the last couple of selection packs, whether it's been the Italian, Spanish, or English uh, selections that they did, um the english league attackers that we have here now i personally feel like that they are kind of they're kind of like you know for newcomers like early adopters of the game that have downloaded the game in the last month or two that are like oh these cards are actually better than what i have at the moment in my squad because they only are only probably playing maybe four or five hours a week and they want to obviously you know build a squad so yeah if you are spinning for one of the big boys and you happen to get any of those my picks will be probably Gakpo, even though he's got limitations. Diaby, even though he's got limitations. And of course, also, I would probably go with Solomon, who, who becomes probably the pick of the pack, lads, to be honest with you, if you're looking for just a speedster winger, right? Now, Jolington is good as well, but he's got a couple of issues. All these cards have issues, man, including the Legends, right? Including the Legends. Yeah. Dwight York as well um, is, is kind of an interesting one as well there, um, which we've covered in the review. But yeah, let me know if you spun for any of these and if you've got any of these... And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we will see you in a bit.